Hello there, welcome. Welcome to today's makeover session on the men's workroom. Men's workroom talks about a place where we deal with issues that pertains to men that will help them be successful husbands, um, successful, successful husbands, fathers, and uh, in-laws, neighbors, businessmen, multi-millionaires, and multi-billionaires. I believe that we can achieve this in our lifetime, um, and, and I'm here being your partner to help you achieve that. We started the last episode on what they say is the most needed ingredients in the family, and that is uh, the most needed ingredients uh, of men in the home, what men need the most from their wife and they, they, they say is respect. Now looking at this respect, we started with the first thing you need to do to make respect prominent in your home. So today I'll be looking at the second point. But first of all, let's take our journey from the scripture we read, St. John's, St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 17, and chapter number 7 and verse number 12. It says that we should do to everybody what we want them to do to us, as that is all the teaching of Moses. That's all there is in the teaching of Moses and the prophet. This means that if we want respect in the home, we have to first give respect. And the essence of this series is to help you know how to keep an atmosphere of respect in your home. Num the, the, the number two point we need to look at here today which we dealt with number one point last week, is that do not demand respect, influence it. Do not demand respect, influence it. What is influence? Influence is the act of making someone do something without being forced. How do I make my wife respect me without me being physical, getting physical? Yes, I'll show you how. Number one, it comes with the way you give her respect. In your head, what does respect look like? In your head, what does respect look like? I've seen some men say to me, but but uh, yes, do I spoke to her like that? Is that why she should respond to me the way she did? I'm her husband. Oh, if you keep pouring water into a glass, it's only with time it will overflow. If you keep pushing a goat to the wall, if you turn around, though he doesn't have teeth to bite, to try to use his horn to fight you. So if you want respect, we need to learn to give respect. And that is for us to influence it. So the way to influence it is to give it. The next is to communicate your displeasure in the most calm manner without shouting. So men are used to shouting. They feel that one of the traits of a man, of a man is to have a big voice. You know when they say um, he has a baritone. It's not only for romance. It's, <clears throat> it's that when I yell, she quivers. <laughs> that, that's not good. That baritone can be used to persuade and change the course of events by talking or communicating wisely. So when there's displeasure, when there's discontent in the home. Remember to always bring down your voice. I used to like to shout those days. But after I gave my life to Christ, I began to learn to bring down my voice. But when I got married, I got married to a very, very fair lady. I used to imagine if I shout, will the skin all go red? So in order not to see the red skin, I'll talk calmly. And I've really found out it solves more problems than we could ever imagine. Number three, never you raise your hand on your wife. You have too much energy in your bones to use for a woman or on a woman. That's not good at all. It says she offended me. Yes, you should deal with it. Understand this, that if you raise your hand your wife in order for her to respect you. You could subjugate her, but she will plan something else for you another time. Understand this wisdom, that respect gotten by bullying usually creates a pitfall that could lead to your demise in time to come. 
So you do not do that. The, the next is that never show violence or a threat of force. A man some time ago said, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to shoot at her. I just wanted to, uh, to scare her. So I went into my bedroom and brought out my double barrel and I shot into the air and she fainted. I didn't touch her. Do you know what that is? What are you talking about? Do you know what that is? There's what they call the show of force in the military. When they want to keep the enemy away, they don't want war. No true soldier wants war, although they are treated, they are trained for war. They are trained for war, but they, if they can do anything to avoid it, they avoid it. Because that bullet, that gun you are seeing, huh, they say something in the military that most times is the first person that pulls the trigger that stays alive. The first person that pulls the trigger that stays alive. Although your machine might be more sophisticated than the enemies, if he pulls the triggers first, the trigger first, you could just be sleeping in your grave the very next moment. So it is important that you avoid wars. So when they want to show force, they come and bring out all their armory just to display. You hear of America doing a joint training with, with, uh, with uh, Taiwan. It's giving China a signal that, hey, we are behind these guys. If you come here, we are at their defense. You see North Korea telling you they are shooting empty, empty missiles into the, into, into the ocean. It's just to tell the world that, hey, don't come here. We can shoot. We can shoot from here to anywhere. They, I, I don't really think they want to kill anybody. They just want people to know, their enemies to know that, hey, we can fire back in case you have some firepower. So when you do that, that show of force could also be very scary. And it's not your wife. You bring out a gun or bring out a machete and say, I'm going to kill you. That, 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 that's not good at all. All these things will bring about a destruction of respect in the home. So you do not demand respect, you influence it. By these actions you put up, certainly respect will come to you at default. All right? Like we normally do after our class, I want you to do yourself this favor. Write down three things you are going to do to influence respect because respect begat respect. If you do this, this comes up. If you do this, this comes up. Write down those three things and then we'll be seen in our next class. I am Victor, Victor Atenaga, and I remain your partner to a successful marriage. So we look at the wisdom from ancient times. Thank you very much. I'll see you next class. I hope you enjoyed today's episode on Men's Workroom. For questions and contributions, please do write Reverend Victor Atenaga via the email address showing on your screen. And we're going to get back to you answering your questions. Thank you for watching Men's Walkroom.